Hey everybody, it's Safia Mark with Dish Out on Movies, the only movie review show on YouTube to review movies in terms of food. And it's just Marco here once again to do a little rant about a new movie that came out last week. And <laughs> it was funny because on that day, Friday, when new releases come out, I, I drew a blank. And I forgot all about this movie even coming out. And so I just reviewed some random movie that I wanted to review. And it was actually a lot better. Uh, it was a lot more uh, fun to do, too. Uh, because it's, you know, it's back when they made good movies. So, as you can tell, I did not like Turning Red by Pixar. And I'm going to lay out my reasons. I'm going to talk about general thoughts, but first I wanted to say that, uh, like, explicitly, this video is not for kids, you know, because for some reason, it's really weird, because it's like, just because I do videos that happen to be about kids' subjects, that doesn't mean that the videos are for kids, and it's really weird, because I, I see all these videos all over YouTube that have to do they're the same subjects and and they have the comments allowed but then whenever I have a video that is about uh, like a kids movie YouTube turns all the comments off and so I I, I, I don't know why uh, it's really fucking weird but yeah this video is not for kids at all because the movies the movie is not for kids at all either because that, uh, well, for starters, I was excited about this movie. I I thought, you know what, this could this could be good. Like I, I don't have a problem with this. This looks like it could be a, a fun movie. Uh, I like the little teaser that they released where she sees her mom and her mom embarrasses her and and then she turns into a panda and, and is running around the city and. I thought that was fun. Like, I genuinely thought, like, oh, that's, that, that looks like it could be a good movie. And then I heard that they weren't going to play it in theaters. Which, I was really pissed off about that, <laughs> honestly, because I thought, oh, God, Disney, Disney, Disney. Terrible company, terrible movies, terrible uh, people that work there. Uh, I, that pissed me off. And then I heard about the controversies. I heard that people were saying, you know, this movie's uh, very sexual, and it's very, it, and and people are like, ooh, gross. And in particular, there was this one critic who, like, she called the movie very horny, and I was like, oh, gross. <laughs> like that, that is just like, ugh, ugh. <laughs> Like, the thing is, is the, oh, okay, I'm not going to get it, but just, ugh, ugh. and I thought, like, ooh, I don't want to watch this movie anymore, never mind, and, but I just decided to watch it anyway, because, to, to do a review, essentially, because I, I knew it was going to be bad as soon as I heard that, and it was way worse than I expected, you, you know, in 20... 19, I think. I can't remember. Uh, a few years ago, Safi and I did a month dedicated to quote unquote kids' movies that felt like they weren't for kids. And we did movies like Big Top Pee Wee, which was, you know, when you, when, <laughs> I need to stop saying that. But when, when they made that movie, it was very mixed. Like, is this for kids? Is this for adults? They had all these adult jokes in it. They had this one part where he has sex with the Italian girl, whatever she is. And they even have, like, an ejaculation joke. And it's like, okay, this is clearly, like, not a kid's movie. I mean, all the stuff that they did. Uh, it was like, you know, what is this? What is this tr really, tr who is this aiming for? And it was the same problems with a few other movies like Garbage Pale Kids. You know, that movie disguises itself as a kid's movie, but really, it's not for kids. 
And this this would, would have been the perfect example. This movie, Turning Red, it would have been the perfect example for movies that are quote-unquote geared towards kids but really are not for kids. Uh, because I have a niece, and uh, thinking about her watching, being allowed to watch this movie, I should say, uh, really kind of makes me want to throw up. Uh, because this is not a kid's movie at all. It's a teenage movie, but the thing is, is that teenagers don't want to watch this BS. Like, when I was a teenager, I wanted to watch Clockwork Orange, Cannibal Holocaust, American Pie, uh, Breaking Bad. You know, I didn't want to watch fucking uh, Pixar movies. You know, the only Pixar movie I watched as a teenager was like a Toy Story 3. I saw that when I was like 10 or whatever. Uh, but other than that, you know, I wasn't jumping for joy to see a new Pixar movie. And that is the weird thing about this movie, is that it's all about being 13 and be, being a teenager. And you know what? It's fine. It's fine to have all this stuff in it uh, because, you know, it's accurate. Like, the, the stuff with, like, the drawings, like, I did a similar thing. I drew an animated, like, movie, like a, a stop-motion animated movie, and I filmed it, and I, and I even made noises for it, and I still have it. It was called One Night Stand, and so, like, that was accurate, the stuff that they did in the movie. But the thing is, is that, okay, if it's going to be like that, then why are you targeting it towards kids? Because if, if they're 13, if, you're t if you made it PG-13, if you made it a teenage movie, then I would have been more accepting of it. But it's this really weird thing where they're trying to target this towards young children. Uh, when this movie is clearly not for children, the subject material, you know, all of the you know, everything, like literally the entire movie, uh, I would say is not for children. I would say this is a teenage movie that teenagers don't want. So we're stuck in this little, uh, what would you call it? What was the conundrum? We're stuck in this little conundrum of who is this movie for? Well, it's for the people who made the movie. That's who it's for. This, this is another one of those, and now we will get into the feminazi aspects of this movie, because <laughs> that stuff is really... <laughs> There's so much to talk about with this movie. It, it is unbelievable. Unbelievable, this movie. Uh, but to get back to my point about the age thing, you know, this has been... This has become a big problem nowadays. It's a big trend that to, to make everything older, younger, and to make everything younger, older. And you see that with, like, on Twitter, the weirdos on Twitter, they want to push the age of consent to 25 or some bullshit because they, uh, I, don't even, I don't even care. Uh, but, you know, you see this all the time nowadays where adults are treated like children and children are treated like they're adults. Like, it's like they're, they're pushing ch childhood into adulthood. And they're, it's like, okay, you have this kid's movie, but it's clearly not for kids. It's for these disgusting adults who are still like kids. You have people... I've seen on dating sites, uh, there was this weird bitch who, uh, she said that uh, she, she uh, thinks that she's a baby. She thinks that she's an infant, you know, she's mentally ill, uh, and that she has to be treated like an infant. I'm not, I'm not kidding you guys, I'm not kidding you. Like, you, you see some weird shit on dating apps nowadays, and it's like, you know, with the whole superhero movie obsession, it's like everything that is for children is now becoming for adults. And I and it's like, you know, it used to be where 
kid stuff was kid stuff. But it, it could be enjoyed by everyone because it was for kids and it was innocent. You know, like the Goonies. Uh, it still pushed boundaries sometimes, but it, it, it wasn't like this where it was explicitly something that was not for kids. This movie is corrupting and evil. It is an evil movie made by an evil corporation of evil people. And, you know, the movie, it, it really, it, it, it just, it, it's so weird. It's so weird. You have these adults nowadays, and they can't take a joke. They call every joke racist. Every good joke is racist. But then you see this movie, and this whole movie is racist. I mean, this movie, Turning Red is more racist than Birth of a Nation by a million percent. And that's saying something because, you know, people consider Birth of a Nation to be like the most racist movie, which is really bizarre because, because it's, it, it doesn't even, it's not even a racist movie except for the, the blackface actors in it. Uh, you know, that part isn't good. But the, the movie itself, it was a historical movie that was, you know, explaining a slanted perspective it was a it was a, it's like if you watch a movie told in the perspective of the bad guy and so the fact that people complain that it's racist is kind of fucking retarded but with this movie this movie is, is fucking racist like excuse me let's talk about how racist this movie is uh where's my notes i wrote a ton of notes for this piece of fucking shit uh there we go. What's that? Oh, someone made a post and mentioned me, so I have to. I'm gonna have to look at that later. But it starts off, and immediately I, I saw a red flag because, and it, it's funny because, this happens, a lot, with, SJWs. Is that they make these, movies and shows that are pointed towards one specific race or gender or sexuality whatever the fuck they make movies and shows that are specifically geared towards one type of people but then the movies and shows are somehow more racist than anything and this was one of those examples because it starts off and you have this Asian girl a Canadian Asian girl named Mai Lin I, I can't remember I, I know, oh, I'm not going to talk about that. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say I know someone with that name, but I'm not going to talk about that. Uh, and, and she's an adult, by the way, just so you know. <laughs> because <laughs> you, you got to be careful with these, these reviews. Like, they just, people take everything so, uh, you know, they listen to what, whatever they want to hear. And so, you know, you always got to be careful with what people interpret and everything. Uh, but it starts off, and you have this Asian girl, and she has a suitcase. She has a suitcase that says, I love math. And, <laughs> and she plays the flute. And her, she says that her her entire life she's been raised to, she has to honor her parents. And that's all, her, her entire life is just about, you know, <laughs> honor, <laughs> honoring her parents. <laughs> and, and that, that. You could just imagine ha some other stuff that's in the movie, because that that's not even the worst of it. Like there, there's this weird thing that happens throughout the movie. <laughs> there's this weird thing that happens where the characters, the Asian characters, 
for some reason, <laughs> the skin color is sucked out of them. <laughs> and so, and so they're, <laughs> they're white. They're literally, they turn from, they, they turn. They turn from Asian to white, and so it's like you have all these people, you have all these Asian uh, girls, because this movie's, you know, it's only focused on girls, by the way, that's another thing, uh, and, 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 and they, for some reason, all the skin color is sucked out of them, and like at some points they have red hair instead of like black hair or brunette like they usually do and their skin is white like they're redheaded girls and I thought that is the weirdest shit I've ever seen why are all these Asian characters putting on white face I mean that is just so incredibly like racist and offensive uh you know there's no purpose to it it's not like like what is it like the the what is it like they're Asian is being sucked out of them by people making them mad like I have no idea what the fuck they mean with this fucking piece of shit movie like what the fuck like just all these moments where they they, they literally have the Asians sucked out of them and I thought that was really weird like in some shots, you're like, what the fuck? Like, is this the same character? Because she doesn't look the same. She looks like a, a ginger girl named uh, Mary Jane or something. And the movie, it's just as inappropriate as you thought it would be. And I say that because it, it's for teenagers. Like, it's not for kids. It's for teenagers. Like, if, if they had made this PG-13, I would have been fine with it. Even though it's trash, it's promoting disgusting themes and ideas, we'll talk about that later, I'd still be okay with it because at least they're not saying, like, okay, children under 13 could watch this movie. Like, no, that that's not good. That's not good. Like, sorry, but it's not good. And there, you know, there's all this creepy like pedophilia shit in the move in the movie. Uh, see, my voice cracked again. I told you guys that every single video now my voice is gonna crack, annoyingly enough. But she has to raise money. The main girl, Mylon, she has to raise money for a concert where, which is like a shitty concert that is like. You know, it's quote-unquote stripper music, which is what the mom says. And it's like, yeah, it is. It's stripper music. And it, it, you know, it's disgusting music. And, you know, that's another thing, promoting this type of music. Uh, it, not good. Uh, but and, and we used to talk about that all the time on the bus, too. We would be on the bus, and we would be sitting there, and, and the girls would be sitting up front, telling the bus driver, put on this radio channel, put on this radio channel, and she's like, no, that's stripper music. Like, that's literally... So I guess it's it's accurate, but it, it uh, you know, it's not good, this music. And they, they also did a King of the Hill episode about this uh, type of stuff, you know, with the way that kids are being uh, corrupted. And they had music like this where it was, it was a really funny thing, but... And, and that episode, he went too far, though. I mean, that's not... He went, you know, he's ultra-conservative, so he he went way too far in that episode. But anyway, so she needs money to get to a concert, and so she, she, she earns it by showing people her quote-unquote panda and doing these shows where they can take pictures of her panda and they can look at her panda and it's like, oh, God, what the fuck is this shit? I mean, it is basic, guys. This is basically saying, it's basically like she's selling nudes and letting people look at her naked. That's basically what they're equivocating it to. And my point is supported by the end of the movie. 
which I'll talk about later. Because I know people are going to say that I'm nuts and I'm crazy. But if you listen to what happens at the end of the movie, you're going to agree with me. And now a big problem I have with this movie is that it clearly was ripping off Team Wolf to a T. I mean, <laughs> right down to the fact that like you had the friends who were all like the friends in the movie. Like you had the fat one. Just like in Team Wolf, you had Chubbs. Uh, played by the guy who played John Wayne Gacy in a straight-to-DVD John Wayne Gacy movie. You know, you had a fat girl in this movie. And then you had uh, the stylish one who was, like, all flashy, and she was the one who, who came up with the money thing, just like Styles. And then you had the quiet one who was kind of like Styles' friend. And it's like, okay, we can clearly see what you're doing. You're not fooling anyone. You know, there's points where they're watching the boys play basketball. And there, there's just so many parallels to Team Wolf that it's, it's embarrassing. It's like either they consciously ripped off Team Wolf and they're going to pretend and they're going to use their culture as a shield. Because that's what it kind of felt like. It kind of felt like. You know, anything to do with this movie, people could just go in the comments and say, well, it's their culture, and you don't know anything about their culture, and, and, and you know, this movie wasn't made for you. And, and I have a problem with that fucking retarded criticism. This movie wasn't made for me? Like, uh, well, sorry, uh, but that's not really an insult. It's actually, like, a huge compliment. Because you know what? If this movie was made for me, it would have been fucking good. Uh, that's the thing, is that, like, this movie wasn't made for me, and that's why it fucking sucked. Like, yeah, I'm not a little girl, but if I was a little girl, I'd fucking hate this movie, too. Like, uh, this movie was not really even made for little, uh, Asian girls. It was made for teenagers. Uh, so, th it's just, it's very bizarre. The whole argument's like, and then, of course, it's a kid's movie. So, that means you can't criticize it. You know, all the... It's, it's so funny how kids' movies are shielded like this. Even though kids' movies, you know, they're just the same as any other movies. And in terms of, like, you should have the ability to criticize them and rip them to shreds if they deserve it. You know, just because it's a kids' movie doesn't let it off the hook. And there were other things that ripped off Team Wolf 2. You know, they had the party... Just like in Team Wolf, they had a house party with uh, the bully there. And then it also had the dance thing in it because at one point the bully is like making fun of her. And then she jumps down and uh, physically assaults him. Just like in Team Wolf where he punches the bully in the face. And they have a little tussle. And then he gets pulled off and it's like a sad moment. Uh, the mother was a, as a panda too uh, all the ancestors are pandas just like in Team Wolf except in Team Wolf it, it skips a generation so basically this movie literally just copy and pasted Team Wolf except they didn't do a very good job of it because Team Wolf is a way better movie and it's clear that the people who made this movie didn't understand Team Wolf because the Team Wolf had such a better story it had better characters, and it had better messaging. In Team Wolf, you know, he at the end of the movie, it, it's like he, and, and it's the same thing where he is using his his wolf uh, skills, but it's it's different for him because he, he was just using that as a basketball gimmick. Whereas in this movie, she's literally taking people into classrooms, locking the door, with a watch guard, and then, quote-unquote, showing them her panda, and doing dances for them, twerking for them. Uh, so, yeah, no, uh, gross. Uh, we, we, know, we knew what you were doing there. Uh, that's disgusting. And uh, so, but in Team Wolf, at the end of the movie, he learns that he should not rely on the wolf uh, to, to like to do things for him like he should not use those powers 
and you know he should be himself and he should do everything himself and not be fake and disingenuous you know he he the wolf came out of him every time he got angry and you know it, it and so it's like and then you had the thing too with the team wolf they needed money uh, they needed money to buy beer and then styles found it uh or he got it somehow i can't remember uh but it's like it's the same fucking movie but in team wolf like at the end he's not the wolf at all and he he plays the basketball game as a person and he wins the game and he chooses the uh the good girl instead of the uh the slutty bitch uh popular girl and it's, it's like you know Team Wolf had this fantastic message, this fantastic arc that this character went through. And in this movie, guess what happens? <clears throat> the, the main bitch, Mai Lin, she keeps her panda. And she says that having the panda is a good thing. And she uses her panda for the rest of her life as a gimmick so that she can make money. Off for quote unquote panda, if you know what I mean, <clears throat> and it's 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 you know it's almost like equivalent to OnlyFans, like this is OnlyFans the movie, and and so it's like okay, you guys clearly didn't get the message that Team Wolf gave you, uh, because Team Wolf is a better movie, <sighs> but then you have the thing too. Another SJW thing was. There was this bully, Tyler, and he was a rich boy, and he wanted to c come in the classroom and see her panda, and he wasn't allowed to. They had a sign that said, no Tylers allowed, and I want you guys to pay attention to that because, uh, to, to that phrasing, no Tylers allowed. They didn't say Tyler isn't allowed. They said, no Tylers allowed. You know what that means? It's basically equivalent to when SJWs tell you, you know, oh, if you don't like my politics, don't buy my movie or don't buy my comic book. It's the same type of thing. And it's like, oh, it's not made for him because he's not, uh, you know, and it's like, okay, they could have made money off of him and they, they chose not to. And so it just shows like the messaging in there. Uh, <coughs> in that, yeah, okay, <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm reading my notes as I'm doing this, uh, because there's just so much crap, and then, of course, probably the most cringeworthy, this might be the most cringeworthy line in cinema history, like, it is worse than the Catwoman thing where she says, uh, uh who cares about all these white privilege assholes, like, it is worse than that cringeworthy line. There is a line where... Well, actually, there's another line that comes after that that's even worse. Uh, but there's this line where Mylon uh, breaks down in front of her mom. And she says that she's 13. She likes gyrating. And it's like, oh, God. You guys see what I mean? Like, this is not a kid's movie. Not a kid's movie. Like, I'm sorry, but that's just disgusting. Like, that's really gross. And then, of course, at the end of the movie, as I said before, sorry, I'm getting up to stretch because it hurts to sit in this chair for a long time. But at the end of the movie, she chooses to keep her panda. And at the end of the movie, she wants to go out in public uh, with her friends and she chooses to only have her, her panda tail out, if you guys know what I mean. You know, she only wants to show her tail, if you know what I mean. And, and guys, like, I'm not the one who wrote this, so don't call me weird, okay? Uh, but she said, and her mom says, you're not going out dressed like that. And then she says, my panda, my choice. So, there you go. Like, you guys... That is complete, definitive, 100% proof. The whole movie, this whole panda thing, it was really uh, about, you know, OnlyFans, quote-unquote. And the whole thing at the end where she, she wants to be like a whore and she wants to have her tail out. 
And then it's like, oh yeah, that's just fine because it's her panda, her choice. That's fucking disgusting. And yeah. <laughs> Team Wolf had the better message at the end. He doesn't use the wolf at the end. He wins all by himself. Probably one of the greatest victories in cinema history where he just beats this team and he and he, he also uses teamwork too because in this movie too it's really all about individualism and it's all about you know like oh it's my panda my choice but in team wolf you know he he plays with the whole team and he he helps out his team instead of just making it all about him and so this movie clearly just didn't understand Team Wolf uh, when they were ripping it off. And yeah, I really fucking hated this movie. Like, as, as you can tell, it was terrible. And it, it's just clear, like, all the stuff, I didn't even talk about everything in the movie. Like, there's so much other stuff. The whole period shit. Ew, gross. Nobody wants to see that. Uh... That they have all that kind of crap in the movie. And, you know, there's so much stuff to talk about. See, kids' movies nowadays, they really aren't movies. They're just agenda platforms. Like, the, you, I mean, come on. After all the stuff you've heard, you got to admit, this is an agenda movie. It's a disgusting agenda movie to corrupt children. And that's just me being honest. Like, I... I I, I, I'll, I'll let a kid watch an R-rated movie. I'll let them watch uh, Halloween. Uh, but I would not let them watch this crap. And in terms of food, this movie, you, you know, there was something that happened today. Uh, oh, wait, oh, actually, I have the perfect rating. Lunchables. I used to eat Lunchables all the time as a kid even though they were never filling. And I would eat, I only ate one time the dessert Lunchable. That's what this is. And it feels, it's, it's, it's a pizza dough with chocolate sauce and chocolate chips. And, it, and then of course you have, I think you get the drink and that's it, I can't remember. But that meal, you know, it's not even a meal. And would you really give a kid a dessert pizza for lunch and say, yeah, that's your lunch? No, of course not. Because then you'd be fucking retarded. Well, this movie is a dessert pizza. You know, it's something that, you know, teenagers, it'd be fine. Like, oh, yeah, go ahead, take a dessert lunch to school with your other five Lunchables, you know, because teenagers eat a lot. Uh, it'd be fine. But to give a kid just a dessert lunchable to eat, totally unacceptable. And that's what this movie is. It's a dessert lunchable. And it's really unoriginal, too. Like, you can't just sit there and hide behind the culture argument because the movie, too, it also kind of feels like it apes off of Diary of a Wimpy Kid a little bit the way that it's like, ew, gross, I'm becoming a teenager and I, I want to stay a child. Uh, and it's like, you know, ew, gross, braces, hair, anger, all this stuff, uh, aggression, you know, all that stuff was in Diary of a Wimpy Kid. And it was so much better handled in Diary of a Wimpy Kid. I wonder why. Because Diary of a Wimpy Kid didn't have fucking agendas in it. So yeah, I, I hated this movie. I really hated it. it I, I know that I didn't yell in this video but I wanted to I really wanted to but I thought it would just be better to come at it from a more uh, nice way of doing things because it, it was really bad it was really really bad it is definitely the worst Pixar movie I've ever seen and that is saying something because Toy Story 4 oh I oh and then, of course, Incredibles 2. So, yeah. Anyways, please like this video, comment. You know, did you see all these uh, disgusting agendas that they put in this disgusting, stupid movie? Rip off a Team Wolf. 
and then please subscribe to our channel if you want to see more honest movie reviews. Goodbye, everybody. See you soon.